Last video we created uh, the child 2 class which has the ability to jump and in this video I would like to extend child 2. So we'll have a grandchild that's able to do something a little bit different. So we are experiencing natural selection or whatever evolution. Uh, here we go. Um, we're going to create a new class and this one's going to be called grandchild. And grandchild, um, why is it angry at me? What's going on? I don't think it should be angry at me. Yeah, no, it's fine. All right, and grandchild is going to extend, or grandchild extends, child two. So now this um, class has the ability of the dead parent class as, as well as its parent, which is child two. So it can jump already. Without doing anything, a grandchild can jump. We could actually create a new one right now. So we go in and create, um, let's just do it. So entities.add new grandchild. And already, without us doing anything else, that's going to work because um, all of its functionality is derived from its uh, parent classes. So you'll see two of these objects now. There's that one, and this is the grandchild right here. So it's already OK. But we want to give it a different uh, ability. In this one, I'm just going to have it flex. So we need an additional field, additional fields. And we're going to have a private Boolean. So waxing means getting bigger. The moon waxes and wanes. And then we're going to say public um, grandchild. And we're just going to call the super constructor. But then I'm going to give it a different color so you can see it. Color equals, oops, equals color dot green. And um, we don't have to do very much. So we're going to override update. Public void update. Um, and if you see over an update in the dead parent class, this is down, like, child2 doesn't have its own update method. It just uses the dead parent class update method. So the grandchild will use the dead parent class update method unless we override it. So all this method does is set position. So we can call super.update. And then what do we want to do? Well, we want to change the width of our thing and maybe the height based on some stuff. So let's do, um, we have to do an if check if the width is less than or equal to, let's set a minimum width of 10. Then we want to flip the value of waxing to true. Waxing equals true because it's got down to its minimum width, so then it's going to grow. If the width is greater than or equal to, let's say, 200, then we want to flip the value of waxing to false. And if it is waxing, then what do you think we want to do? We want to increase, we're going to change the value of width right now. So if it's growing, increase the value of width. And if waxing, so you can either do if not waxing, uh, or you can do if waxing equals false. Then we want to decrement the value of width. And at this point already, I believe our um, grandchild. Yeah, it is flexing or is uh, shrinking and growing but it looks kind of funny because it's just shrinking from one side so let's change that so let's add a couple additional fields private double or int we can do private int draw x and draw y come on type draw y and we'll set the draw x equal to x minus width divided by 2 and draw y equals y minus height divided by 2. I guess we don't need the draw y. I was intending to have it flex in both directions. And um, oh, fine, we'll do doubles just and then just cast it when we actually draw it. Okay, and um, then we need to override the draw method. So public void draw graphics 2D G. And remember, we didn't have to do this initially because the child2 class has a draw method. But we are going to um, override it so that we can 
draw at the center of rather than the side or like you know have it extend out from the center whatever you're gonna see g dot set color color and g dot fill let's have this be an oval fill oval at int draw x and let's just copy this and draw and then under update we have to update the x and y position or the draw x and draw y otherwise they'll stop being that so down at the bottom we'll just say that and let's see if it does what we want it to do it should kind of flex from the middle out yeah so it's doing that more you can see it's kind of it's not like extending out oh but the bounds are screwed up now you see that we would have to override set position. I don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> so anyway, it's weird, but you can see what we would have to do. We would have to override child 2 set position method um, to make the bounds properly be checked. Uh, cool. Uh, so that's it for right now. Um, we have this uh, grandchild class that is, uh, you know, different from its parent, its parent class, which is child 2. And um, child 2 is different from child one it's sibling because it has the ability to jump and it has gravity but they are all derived from and base most of their criteria or attributes on this dead parent class which we created and then extended down through two children and one grandchild of that class okay so i think that's all well, now what i would like you to do well i'll do that in the next video